I've got to come back to Australia's race madness because even your freedom to walk this land is being affected. We've already had climbing banned on Uluru or Ayers Rock, supposedly out of respect for Aboriginal religious beliefs. Then climbing Mount Warning in New, Z New South Wales is also banned, same reason given. And now the Queensland government has asked tourists not to climb Mount Tribragagan in the Glasshouse Mountains, or not during this NAIDOC week at least, to supposedly give nature a rest and out of respect for the Kabi Kabi tribe. Joining me is Mark Hendricks, a geologist who has campaigned for the right to climb. Good to see you again, Mark. Uh, this request not to climb a trip or Gargan for a week seems to me like the start of a permanent ban, just like it was at Uluru. Is that how you see it? Oh, very much so, Andrew. Um, in fact, the Cubby Cubby people, the group of uh, the Aboriginal group behind this uh, week-long closure, have been calling for a permanent ban on climbing Tibro for a number of years, with the support of the Queensland National Park Service. So it really is quite a, a prospect of a Trojan horse type situation that we get this week-long ban and suddenly it turns into some sort of rolling temporary closure or perhaps next year we'll see it more formalised and the year after that it turns into a month and so on. So the sort of That's language coming... That's what we saw coming... at Mount Warning too, I said. Yeah, That's exactly. What we saw, exactly what we saw at Mount Warning, which you warned us at the time. But uh, Mark, should we show respect for Aboriginal culture and not climb these mountains or is there some other game being played here? Uh, look, like Ayers Rock and Mount Warning, I think the real, and closure of other special places around the country, um, I see this more about being politics and culture, you know, and I think your show tonight sort of addressed some of this, you know, looking at this, this issue of this progressive uh, political politics that's being played um, and, and this new postmodernism where concepts of race, gender and identity um, have taken over and taken precedence over historical information and scientific facts and democratic concepts like freedom of speech and freedom of movement. And translating that into the national park system, you know, the, the, what was once a very pragmatic organisation um, and that pragmatism is being replaced by things like these impossible zero harm, safety mentalities coupled with over-regulation, environmental alarmism and an embrace of myth and superstition. And I think for the Australian public, it's really time um, that the silent majority stood up for our common ideals, for our culture, or we risk being locked out of the wonderful country around us. And look, as our unique oh, look, landscape... I, I think you... I'm, I'm getting, I'm look, getting to the you point. You make a couple of points there. Uh, the the yeah. superstitions, right? I mean... Like with Mount Warning, they said, oh, look, if you, trans if you transgress on the mountain, the secret men's business, people will get sick. I mean, seriously, uh, I'm prepared to take that risk because I don't believe that superstition. I don't know why I should be bound by it. And by the way, uh, as you pointed out, uh, these bans, they didn't apply in the past. How come suddenly they've been you know, thought about now? Meanwhile, Mark, New South Wales uh, parks, they've paid more than $100,000 of taxpayers' money to hire security guards to stop hikers from climbing Mount Warning. This ban is turning into a nice earner for one Aboriginal company, Safe Security Services, which supplies those guards. But mate, the whole thing is ridiculous. We now it is. hire it's guards nuts. to stop people climbing a mountain? The real irony there is that a couple of years ago, so uh, I think it was New Year's uh, 2006, 50 cars in the car park got their tyres slashed um, and there were calls in from the public for some security in the park to protect private property and to protect personal possessions and now they're using security guards and they've put up a new great wall um, across the summit track at Mount Warning to keep people out of the place. You, 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 couldn't, make, you couldn't make this nonsense up, Andrew. Look, I find it absolutely astonishing. And what you also can't make up is how few people uh, dare complain. Mark Hendricks, you've had the courage to raise this issue for some years. Thank you so much for bringing this Thanks, to our Andrew. attention. Really appreciate it.